Today in Zapekist, the theme was to make a food-based track, and so I decided to make a giant apple pie. Now, of course, if you have good themes for a Zapekist track, make sure you put them in the comments down below. But in this track, it's pretty simple. There is one checkpoint right before the finish. You can see it's kind of glitched into the finish there. And we could drive around the outside of the apple pie, but there are slowsters that prevent us from doing it at full speed. So we can set a time doing it this way and no problem. Of course, the reality is if you want to get the time properly, you have to jump your way across the middle by timing your jumps and making it into the appropriate ramps. It's a really, really cool, kind of like a mogul's track, uh, but it's extremely difficult. So you can see something like that, and then maybe I could get this jump here. Wow, this is actually going really, really well. And then maybe I could just land here and not not die. No, I didn't make it up. But either way, that's basically the idea of what you have to do. If you fall into the hot filling, you will die because there is a giant supersized finish. So you have to try and bounce your way across straight into the finish and get the fastest time possible. So we'll see what happens. It's an interesting track. It is sort of like a pick your own line kind of track. But uh, let's jump into a public lobby and see who can actually set the record. I feel like this is going to be like, you know, when you watch the, the Food Network late at night and you're oh already hungry. God. Yeah, this is, this is, <laughs> no, this is, oh, this man. is exactly what uh... you think. Now, now you'll notice you can just drive around the outside, right? It's the obvious thing. I'm going to do it right now. Everyone's like, you're going to just drive around the outside. Um, there are slowsters on the, the outside, middle? so you will slow down, and you can only do like 80. So you can set a time just going around the crust of the pie, um, but it will be slow. And obviously, the filling of the pie is very hot, so it does kill you. That's why there's the checkpoint in the finish there. You have to make it, you know, through the... I use the finish, the finish trick to kill you in the pie. And you can make it through the center. Oh yeah, absolutely. I set the validation oh, through the my. center. Oh, That's insane, man. There is a there is a path you can make through the center. I just set a time there around the outside of 44 really easily. Uh, there is a path through the middle. It is 100% possible. It's like a 20 second time and it's absolutely awesome. Oh. Oh my god, am I going to do it first try through the middle? No, I almost oh. did. What are those slow stairs? Yeah, that's to slow you down around the outside. Okay. So if you're on the outside, I realize like it, you could still set a pretty good time on the outside that was like almost close to the middle. So I'm like, you know what? I just ringed the whole outside with slow stairs so you can't ever get speed. And through the middle, there's actually a booster aiming at the finish, like a, not an omnidirectional, just a regular booster that aims at the finish to keep your speed up through the middle. So mm. you do have the advantage if you can bounce your way through the middle. Uh, but it's apple yeah, pie. It's a wonder. Everyone, these are all outside times. Thirty-nine seven. That's outside for sure. Oh, there's a twenty. Oh. Sandals got it. Wow. Twenty-four oh. eight. Oh my um, god. I died right before the finish. I would have gotten an inside time. Yeah, yeah. I was one jump away. So there's like I can do it in two jumps. If you can, there's two like jumps that I always aim for, and if you hit them perfectly, it seems to just work. I practiced it a bunch, but like it's so hard to do. That yeah. And of course, the whole thing is kind of like a giant optical illusion that really just messes with your brain. Right, plus there's so many needles to thread on this track. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna an Omni Booster? I, I might get an inside time. No, it's not an Omni Booster. It's a regular oh. Aero Booster. I had an Omni Booster, but the problem with Omni Boosters is if you're flying and your nose tips down, it starts boosting you into the ground. So I replaced it with a yeah. regular booster that's just aimed at the finish. So no matter what direction you're facing, it's only going to help boost you towards the finish line. It's not no, a fake... My dead body is flying towards checkpoint? it. There's no, there's no fake checkpoint. The checkpoint's right at the finish. It's a real checkpoint. <laughs> it's just because the whole pie... Like, I'm going to fall down into the pie to prove it, but the pie kills you if you fall down. So you can't just drive across the smooth filling, right? Like, it's... And then somehow oh, yeah. bounce up. It's a giant, gi giant fake finish. I definitely have died to the um, scorching hot caramelized apples already. A yeah, few times. yeah, you know that's that's what that's what I was going for. Oh come on! I oh think dear! I'm so close. No, I missed it. Oh, God. I'm so, it's it's two jumps, and I know the first jump, and I just can't get the second one. Ronan's got the 23, so he's obviously found. I can't believe how fast these guys found the two jumps that you have to like the the loops to take. That's so crazy. All right, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it right here. Yes, I'm, 
I made it. Get I made it. it. I made it. Get, get in. It. Get in. Get in. Let's go. Let's go. Top of the leaderboard. Nice. 23-0. <laughs> Woo. All right. No one set a time for seven minutes, please. So in case you guys haven't figured it out, I'll tell you right now. The first jump that you land for, you don't use hands up. And you go for that, like, see when you're looking straight down, that first ribbon on the left that's kind of looking, like, sloping to the left? You know what I'm talking about? I yeah. see it. Yeah. That's If you aim for that one, it's like, like, gotcha. that's the one that you can make it to with no hands up. And then you turn right off that one and aim for some other ribbon. I don't really know what other ribbon specifically, but I just kind of turn right and then hope for the best. But yeah, there's like this first ribbon that's right on the left there. And if you don't use hands up, you'll land perfectly underneath it. And then just, you know, boom, done. Definitely oh my God. know exactly what you're talking about and getting it right now. Trying oh. to figure out where to land the second jump. Yeah, the second jump is tough. But I may, I, uh, I almost made a second time there. I hit the outside of the checkpoint. Oh dear. That was so close, no. But yeah, I really no. like this. I like this track. I don't know why. It's such a stupid <laughs> idea. It's fun. It's, it's you know, a lot of people do like a uh, find your own path track and they're fun. But it, a lot of times people usually just do like bumpy roads and it's like, right. Okay, but the bumpy roads are going to be like weird with Unity and like all the stuff. This at least like you can like kind of optimize it and perfect it. Well, and this one, so it's a perfectly symmetrical pattern, obviously. I just, you know, I scaled up big pipes to make the pie crust itself and all that stuff, right? But the the weave pattern is symmetrical, but then obviously I rotated it offset by like 15 degrees from center. Because if it was straight, it would be too easy. It can't just be right. perfectly straight because then you just, you know, you'd get one line and boom, done jump you're done but this way you have to actually kind of like weave back and forth across the jumps and the landings are like always for me you're always landing like underneath one of the ribbons you know and it's so sketchy you know what i mean like it's just i'm gonna set another time here but it's gonna be slower A 24 5 it's d's pain pies this is not like i guess it's kind of pain <laughs> Like, this is not... Wait a minute. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be kinda. <laughs> it's a blind jump, I guess, right? Like, you gotta... You guys set times yet? How are you doing? No, I almost nah. got to the finish just now, but I lost all my speed right in front of the finish You hit line. the crust and then didn't, didn't yeah. get up on it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Originally, I made the crust out of sand. Like, all the, uh, the pie ribbons oh, are sand. In case mm. you didn't notice. Which means you get less traction on them. And originally I had the crust as that too, but then I realized like people who landed on the crust, like if you didn't land perfectly in line with the finish, you would just bounce right off and that was it. So I changed the crust to be the stone. So at least you get the chance to like break on it if you're not perfectly lined up and adjust for it and blah, blah, blah right? I just literally lipped off the first. Oh my God, that's so quick, 23-4. That still would have been Dang. second. So for the first jump, I hit a I hit a swoop, but then the second jump, I just bounced off the tops of like four different ribbons in a row. Okay. Like just like very quickly, just bounce, 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 bounce. Didn't even. Honestly, if you get smooth enough bounces, that's going to be faster because it's a more of a direct line. You're not spending so much time in the air. Yeah, and the booster helps you too. I think too though, if you could get one like jump right before the end pie crust, so you don't bounce off the pie crust, you just jump through the finish, that would be faster as well. And I keep dying right before the finish. Dapper, you know what we're learning this week though? What? If we make stupid quirky tracks, we can get first uh -huh. places. <laughs> yeah. A lesson has been learned. Unless unless Mackie comes in here and sets a twenty two second time in the last second. <laughs> With Mackie, you honestly never know. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't either. How did you even finish? Listen, I literally built this track last night, and then I practiced it for, I'm not even joking, a solid two hours. Oh, my. To, to the point where, like, I didn't think anyone was going to get the time straight across the pie, and now everyone is, so. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You going to no. do it? No. <laughs> No, nope. that just a little bit of arms up on that first one helps. Twenty-three-three, oh, owl plague with the twenty-three-one. 
Yeah, you can. It's like, so I go to the right side of the ramp that we start on. I go to the far right, and then I jump off the ramp, and aim, like as oh, soon I as see. I hit the booster, I aim for the middle of the ramp. And that trajectory... You're a little wide, basically. Yeah, and that trajectory from right to middle perfectly lines you up with the first, the first, le the first hump. And then I turn right off that hump and aim towards the finish and try to get a better line. I feel like a sub-22 is possible here. Oh no, I landed on the lower part of the wrong ribbon. That's... Uh, Please. Oh, fourth. <laughs> 23-5 though, that's good. Oh, We're into the please, 23s. Please, please. Go, yep, go, yep. go, go, go. Go, go, go. Please, just keep going. All the way. Did you just get it? The stabber. Did you get oh, a stabber? I don't. I don't have this, no. Dang. <laughs> Someone, Kroom, asking what and how is this? Did they, it's like 10 minutes in. Did they just show up or something? I'm confused. <laughs> they must have. If they had been here the whole time, they would have known. I hate it when you clip the edge. I clipped the edge of a ribbon and lost a wheel. That sucks. It was like, it was going to be a good time. I'm thinking it's faster. You're right. I think if you take that first swoop and then use it to bounce to the next, like, top of one of the ribbons, that, yeah. and then just hit the tops all the way to the finish, I think that's way faster than aiming for a second swoop. It's, we always tell people, like, a lot of this game is about reducing airtime as much as you possibly can. Right. You go slow because in the you air. Because you always want to be going, like, forward, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, and going up doesn't help you in your quest to go forward. No, exactly. Oh, another another yeah. tw twenty four two. I don't think I have time to set a time, but no, fifteen we'll seconds left. GG. One more time. Oh my god, is anybody gonna? Is nobody gonna beat me? That's awesome. Did I just get first place with a twenty three zero? I think you did. Yeah. Holy cow! Let's go. GG Con, well played. That first place GG. is as sweet as apple pie. I'll see myself out. All right, well. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing my track. Uh, 132 wins, guys. I know, I know. Don't, I'll I'll sign autographs later for my 132 wins. I know it's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm I'm only 868 away from, you know, that that thousand win achievement. But uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below, and uh, make sure you check out the other guys' tracks. Put the links in the description, and like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.